हेलो गाइस टुडे एजेंडा वाज दिस वन दैट वी गोना यूज अ मंगोस मंगोस पैकेज टू कनेक्ट नोड जेस एंड मंगो टीवी सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द वीडियो लिस्ट फॉर मंगो टीवी एंड आल्सो आई हैव कवर्ड इन दैट द मंगो टीवी कंपास व्हिच इज अ GUI for a MongoDB so you can easily create a database collection and insert the document in it so let's quickly start that how can we do the you know we, we gonna cover this one today that uh, how can we connect the MongoDB with a node.js and uh, we gonna create one schema model and insert one record and find that record let's quickly see you this is my completely blank project let me open the terminal okay let me create the package first so you need to type this command first that is npm init dash y and it will create out of a package json file for us okay now we are going to install first uh, express then I also use the normal which is used to refresh our application or reflect our changes by just pressing the control s command and last I install the mongoose which we gonna learn today because mongoose by the using mongoose we actually connect our node.js to the mongodb database let me create one server js file and in the package json let me update this script with the dev and uh, using normal i'm going to run the server js let's quickly create the express variable and the require express now we're going to use this express function in an app and uh, with the app we're gonna listen on a port of 5000 and let's print an anonymous function that uh, our connection was meant that is connection connection listen on 5000 let's say and let's quickly run our script with dev here we are so connection was made ignore the spelling mistakes now the second thing was we going to create the mongoose variable and in mongoose let's firstly require that okay so oh okay uh, mongoose fine now we firstly connect the mongoose with our mongodb okay so let's mongo connect and here are the query that is you need to type that is mongodb i have installed on the local host and you need to specify the port number that is 271717 okay so here also we need to pass the two meta parameters but uh, currently i don't remember so how can we get those parameters let's quickly see so let me firstly handle the error if any so if uh, not error then let me console log that is db connected or uh, if there is error then let me console log that db error that's it nothing major okay now let me fire let me save this and because we use the node one we not need to uh, type the script to run this server js file let me uh, press the control s here you can see it will refresh see 
I have told you that we need to pass our DB is connected but it throw the error to and the, in error we can see the pass the option as a use new URL parser and the second one is okay uh, let me see okay second one is is this that use undefined apologies to so we need to pass this to parameter while we made a connection with the mongodb so here like this we can pass this to parameter now let me copy the second parameter from here i show you this error because i didn't remember this parameter so while you uh, you know while you trying to connect to your database this will uh, give you an error so after this passing the parameter let me save it and now you can see there is no error this is previous error so there is no error our db is connected so for let's firstly create the test database so after port just time the test db okay and uh, here we can see our test db oh did you see the test db here no because the reason was we didn't create the collection yet so as we see in the our agenda that is we need to first create the schema then its model schema is nothing but it's just a column structure and uh, model is nothing but the table you will get idea once we create that so let's quickly create that so not here okay the const uh, let's say a new schema equal to new mongoose schema and in that let me just pass the two parameter this name this is like a, just a, we can say uh, you know co columns you which columns you want to add so we in the mongodb we can add in a object because mongodb is a object oriented so the second parameter i'm going to pass is a age let's say a number so number so n will be capital make sure now the second was we need to create the model so let's say a, a new model okay and uh, you need to type the new mongoose dot model and in model specify the collection name let me put the collection and in that you need to pass the second parameter your created schema now our schema our schema is ready our collection is ready now it's time to insert the record now i'm going to uh, and enter the record that is how new a new model pass the object name is let me pass the messy and uh, age is like let's say 30 okay now you need to pass uh, you need to write this command to insert the record that is data dot save so this is our data and it will save like this let me press the control save and here we are let's quickly see in the compass ui refresh from here and here we are now our table or sorry not table the database is visible because we inserted one collection with one document now let's quickly see the collections as we named here but the name we entered here that is a singular form and the mongodb converted into the plural form okay so in that we have inserted one record successfully now the second one is if you don't want to follow this kind of approach that uh, in a new model and this and save data we have also another command and that is we all we already familiar with it that is let's say uh, let, let me create a async function for that 
because it is needed uh, in here you just uh, because maybe, maybe sometimes it's possible that it will take uh, minus second to insert the record this is one record so it will not take the time but if you have a large record to insert then it will take some time to insert right so let's say await new model and new model we're going to pass the insert many and insert many if you if you want to pass a multiple records you need to specify into the array function and into the array let, let's pass it so name is uh, Ronaldo and age gonna be let's say 30 and my second record was name gonna be Q okay sorry uh, Tokyo and uh, age is let's say uh, 23 okay now you don't need to specify this command that is result.save this insert menu will automatically add the record now if you want to print this record let me console it that console log and let let print the result what we get let me fire but it will uh, not save here because i forget to call this function here let me call it okay now as you can see after the insert this many records in the result we get that you have inserted these two record that is with name ronaldo and tokyo let's quickly see in the ui refresh the table and we have already inserted the messy and we inserted two new records like this okay so this is how you can insert the record as you want you can follow this approach or this approach but uh, better one is this approach to follow okay now uh, at the last we're going to find the record find it means we're going to print the record whatever we have so let's change query here else here only so let me clear this and just time the find that's it and let me let me clear this first so we will get the idea and run this again okay and uh, let's save it after saving see we have the all records see ronaldo tokyo ronaldo review this duplication was made because uh, I have not saved these changes and and I run the file this uh, server.js file again that's why so this is how you can insert and uh, listed out all your records like this let's see here you can refresh from here see the messy Ronaldo Tokyo Ronaldo Tokyo the two times thank you very much